So for this video, I'm going to be talking about different eye disorders. So it'll basically include the um, symptoms that occur along these, si along these eye disorders, as well as different causes of them. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's just hop right into it. Here are some eye disorders that people suffer with today. Conjunctivitis, aka pink eye. Conjunctivitis can be caused by different things. The herpes virus can cause it. It can be a reaction to mold, or it can come from bacteria, parasites entering and living in your eyes. It can also come with a disease. Next is bulging eyes. Bulging eyes is when one or both of the eyes appears to bulge out of the face. This can occur when the thyroid acts up and acts in overdrive. Next is corneal abrasion. This happens when you scratch your cornea. It is easy to scratch the cornea. Dirt. Rocks or foreign objects can get into the eye and cut them, especially if the foreign object has a rough or sharp surface like rocks. Being around construction without protective eyewear can also cause foreign objects to enter the eye, and even contact lenses can cut the eye, especially if you wear them for too long. Even makeup brushes or eyeliner pens or pencils can scratch the cornea if they get into the eye or become hard. Next, eye floaters. Eye floaters are things that look like fluid moving around in the eye. They can take different shapes or look like a dot. Some say that they look like clouds. For others, they appear gray or darker in color. Some people actually feel that eye floaters are actually parasitic worms floating around in their eyes. What do you think? Do they look like worms to you? Hyphema. Hyphema is when you see blood in your eye. It can happen when you injure your eye as part of a disease, because of blood clotting, or because of infection. It can also be caused by the herpes virus. Next is ophthalmoplegia. This is when the muscles in or around the eye become paralyzed. This can be caused by brain damage, multiple sclerosis, trauma, or even Graves syndrome. Next is retinal vein occlusion, also known as eye stroke. This can happen because of blood clotting in the retina or when a vein vessel in the retina becomes blocked. When this happens, blood or other fluids build up and prevent the retina from properly filtering light. When light is blocked, or fluids are present, a sudden loss of vision can occur. When blood clots or is blocked, it can cause a stroke. This is why this is also called eye stroke. Next is optic neuritis. Optic neuritis is when the optic nerve in the eye becomes inflamed. It is painful and it can cause you to temporarily lose your vision. It is caused by some diseases as well, such as multiple sclerosis. Next is glaucoma. This occurs when there is a lot of pressure in the eye. It can cause you to go blind. The increased pressure can damage the optic nerve. The optic nerve sends messages between the eye and the brain. The optic nerve tells the brain that what we are seeing are images. Glaucoma can also be caused by parasites. For example, Myasis, which is spread by bot flies and which carry Hypoderma tarandi, which is a parasite, can cause eye conditions such as retinal detachment and glaucoma. Next is lazy eye. Lazy eye usually only affects one eye. This is when one eye experiences poor vision because of lack of use. Basically, the eye becomes weak and it doesn't function properly. This can be caused by cataracts as well as when foreign objects enter the eye. Next is retinal detachment. This happens when the retina detaches from its normal position in the eye. This can occur because of diabetes, tissue damage, scar damage, or even because of LASIK surgery. This can lead to blindness, so it's pretty serious. People who are extremely 
nearsighted, have a greater chance of experiencing retinal detachment. In addition, retinal detachment can also occur because of a parasite, specifically the pork tapeworm, which you get from eating undercooked pork. Also called tania solium, they can cause cysts in your tissues, as well as in other areas like the eyes or the brain. If a cyst develops in the eyes because of this parasite, it can cause blurred vision or retinal detachment. Next is myasthenia gravis. This is when the eyelid appears to be drooping. The eye muscles are weak and they tire out quickly. Next is pterygium. This is when a tumor grows on the white part of your eye. It's not a cancerous tumor, so it's a benign tumor instead of a malignant one. Like floaters, many people feel that pterygiums are actually parasites moving around inside the eye. What do you think? Do they look like parasites to you? Next is retinopathy. Retinopathy is just a general term for any damage or disease that affects the retina, which impairs vision or causes blindness. So many different things can cause retinopathy, from diabetes to parasites and worms, and even bright lights or blue lights. a new story about a man whose retina was eaten away by a worm. This article talks about nine different types of parasites and shows you a picture of it. Next is keratitis. This is when fungi, yeast, or amoeba get into the eye and cause an infection. Contact lens wear is associated with keratitis since unclean contact lenses can put fungi, amoeba, and yeast in your eye. Next is strabismus or simply eye squint or cross-eyed. This is when the eyes appear to squint or they look crossed. This can create double vision and it can occur if the mother drinks alcohol while she is pregnant. This is also known as fetal alcohol syndrome. Here's some information about fetal alcohol syndrome and the effect that it can have on infants. Next is uveitis. This is when the uvea, or the part of the eye where the iris is, gets infected. So many things can cause uveitis, from syphilis, toxoplasmosis, cat scratch disease, tuberculosis, Lyme disease, West Nile virus, herpes, or even cancer. Here's an image of the anatomy of the eye. Next is scleritis. Scleritis is when the white part of the eye becomes inflamed. Scleritis can be caused by a bacterial infection, a fungi, a virus, or a parasite. Thank you.